Hello and welcome to the Master the Skill video series. This is your host, Dr. Josh Lee, and I'm going to talk to you about the Cash Trap 2.0 software recently released by Matthew Thayer. To access this, you're going to go to hourglass.im. If you do not yet have access to Hourglass, you need to go into your back office and make sure to add that to cart so that you have that subscription to access the Cash Trap strategy. Now to utilize Cash Trap, there are a few basic rules. We try and keep this really simple, and it comes down to these two primary rules. If the price is trending, rule number one is that we consider up arrows in an uptrend and at key support levels. Rule number two is to consider down arrows in a downtrend and at resistance levels. If price is consolidating, we really only have one rule, which is to consider up or down arrows at support and resistance levels. We can identify the trend direction by looking for breakout and retests, either in an uptrend or in a downtrend. If price is not pushing beyond previous pivot points, we look at this as consolidation and can consider arrows in both directions. Here's an example of what an, a typical uptrend would look like and what resistance and support levels would be like. This is an example of a typical downtrend where, where price typically breaks down to the lower side and comes back up to previous support, which now becomes new overhead resistance before price continues in the downward direction. Within the Cash Trap software platform, there are several indicators that we use to identify which market phase that we are in. It is important to identify whether the market is consolidating or is in a trending time. We do this by identifying the middle lines of the Bollinger Band. This can be indicated by the three kind of yellowish orange lines within the Bollinger Band that indicate the average of price movement. When the candlesticks or price are consistently staying above those middle moving average lines, price is said to be in an uptrend. When price is crossing over repeatedly those middle moving average lines, price is said to be in consolidation. And when price is staying consistently below those middle moving average lines, price is said to be in a downtrend. One of the new features you will find within Cash Trap 2.0 is a new alert panel. It's important to understand the information that you will find within each market idea. First is the currency symbol. As you can see in this example, we have USD CAD. This stands for US dollar to Canadian dollar. And each currency is then measured with a given strength indicated by this number to the right that we'll cover in a minute. So with each separate market idea, you will have a separate currency symbol. And so to view any of these separate market ideas, simply click on that symbol and it will take you to that particular market idea. Next, it identifies which trade direction to take. First is either a put option if you're predicting that the price will go down or a call option if we predict that the price will go up. Each individual market idea will tell you to either place a put option or a call option as you can see in the example of the euro to US dollar. The currency strength meter is a numeric measure of the strength of each individual currency. And when we compare the two, we can get an idea for overall trend direction. For example, the US dollar to Canadian dollar is currently said to be in a downtrend. This is because the US dollar is currently measured at 14 and the Canadian dollar is measured at 38. Because the US dollar is the first currency listed in the pair and it is a smaller number than the, than the Canadian dollar, it is said to be weaker. So if the first currency in the pair is weaker, price is said to be in a downtrend situation. In the euro to US dollar example, to the right, we see the opposite is also true. The euro, which is the first currency listed in the pair, is listed at 29, and the US dollar, again, is at 14. So when we compare the two, the first currency is 29, the second is 14, so the first currency in the pair is the bigger of the two numbers, indicating that we are looking at an upward trend. So always just look at the first currency in the pair and identify if it's either the smaller or bigger of the two numbers, and that indicates trend direction. And finally, to identify where to place your trade, the alert panel will give you a specific entry price. Now, each trade opportunity will not always give you 
that available price. But the, uh, the goal is to get as close to it as possible. The main thing that you want to pay attention to are the last three digits on each of these entry prices. For example, on this US dollar to Canadian dollar put option opportunity, we have an entry price of 1.27317. When you look inside your broker, the numbers that you want to pay attention to are the last three numbers. That will give you a close idea of where you want to enter the trade. So in this case, it would be 317. So if price is currently at 1.27300, you would want to wait for price to come up to 317 before entering the trade. In the example of the euro to US dollar call option opportunity found here, we have a number of 1.21553. So that in looking at the last three numbers of this particular price, we would want to wait for price to get to this specific number focusing mainly on the 553 as our target entry price. Okay, so let's look at a few actual trade opportunities that we could take based on the new Cash Trap 2.0. Here it's just given us a put option near a resistance line, and if we look at USD to JPY on the currency strength, you can note that the first currency number is smaller than the second, and that means that we're looking for put option opportunities. So here we can go over to our brokerage platform and place a put option on USD to JPY for three minutes. Okay, so now we've placed that trade. We will wait the three minutes and we'll see how this plays out. And there we win the trade simply by following the rules of Cash Trap 2.0. Okay, so here we have another opportunity on the Euro to JPY. It has given us a call option opportunity with an ideal entry of 125. And again, we want to look at the last three digits of 958. And we're looking at a call option because the first digit in the uh, currency strength meter is bigger than the second. So we'll go over to our broker and we'll look at that potential trade opportunity. So here we're on USDJPY. We need to make sure and go down to the correct symbol of EuroJPY. Price is currently a bit above that entry point. There we have it. Put in a call option for three minutes. Okay, so now we're seeing the, the latter end of that particular trade. And as you can see, we got in at 963. It called out the trade at 958, which would have been down here, which would have given us an even better entry point. So we got in a little bit early. But as you can see, with the power of cash trap, there we have a green box again, indicating that we won that trade simply by following the currency strength meter, aiming for an ideal entry point, and getting in in the direction that cash trap 2.0 recommended. To utilize Cash Trap 2.0, we keep this very simple. Once again, if price is trending, we consider up arrows in an uptrend and at those support levels. Rule number two is to consider down arrows in a downtrend and at resistance levels. If you identify that price is in consolidation, we simply have one rule, which is to consider up arrows or down arrows at support and resistance levels. Each day, you have an opportunity to trade with the master of the Cash Trap platform, which is Matthew Thayer. He does go live sessions on a regular basis, so make sure to tune in to each of his go live sessions where you can practice and take the same trades based upon his analysis and utilization of this phenomenal platform. And as always, tune in daily with Dr. Joshua Lee and Brandon Boyd to further learn how to master the skill of trading and take your trading to the next level.